welcome to Restored by Polish. I'm Krista. I don't have Jacqueline with me today. We just weren't gonna be able to get together. I'm still trying to get back to Florida. We're trying to do my uh, father-in-law's funeral and of course the hurricane, Hurricane Milton, <laughs> really put a monkey wrench in everything. We were supposed to fly out like right before the hurricane and uh, so we ended up having to change everything and then we ended up postponing it. So um, it's been nuts and so I'm just trying to get a couple videos uh, filmed before I do actually get out of town here. I am in my new house. It's probably kind of echoey. We have zero furniture and the furniture that we do have, like this shelf back here is going. It's not even staying here. It's just here for right now, um, which is why there's just kind of like my nail polish there and random blankets. So I apologize. Um, I tried to put my earbuds in and hopefully that will help with like the echoing. So I hope that that's not too bothersome. So we're gonna do a couple videos. The first one that I wanna do, well, they're both gonna be hauls. So the first one is a really fun haul. I know I always say that, but this one was really fun. So it's kind of fun being on a different side of town because I get to hit some different thrift stores. And when I hit the thrift store over here, I found some great polishes. Uh, again, I think I've had one video, but this was another time that I went. So I'm super excited because I found some Harry Styles. Um, some Gabriel, which I didn't need this polish, but you'll understand why we talk about it. And then I do have some Sally Hansen's that I found at Sally Beauty Supply. And then um, I think one that I found just at the, the grocery store. So let's get the camera turned around and we will take a look at these fun polishes. Okay, let's get started with what I'm wearing on my nails. I am wearing a combo. It is China Glaze's Spice to Meet You topped with uh, Jackie's brand, Never Naked by Jackie's Black Flame. One of my favorite toppers, um, and I really love this combo. I wore something like it last year. I think I wore OPI Susie Needs a Locksmith, and then I put, I don't know, maybe it was something else. It was something similar to it though, but I just, I don't know. There's something about that topper on top of burnt oranges in the fall that just makes my heart happy. So anyway, that's what I'm wearing. All right, we're gonna start with, let's start with the ones that I got um, at Sally Beauty that were on sale. So they were from the Despicable Me 4, I guess it was, collection. And yeah, I got them for $2.50. Um, this is a really pretty, like cerulean blue, I guess, with a little bit of a shimmer in there. It's, it's pretty. I'm really sad because I'm down to my last nail oil and I need to order more, but I don't know where I'm gonna be and I don't wanna order things and have packages sitting out. So um, that might limit how many videos I get done today because I don't have any place to swatch, but that's okay. Look how pretty that is though. That's a really pretty blue. Yeah, I like that. That's super, super pretty. I don't have anything like it in my collection too. It's really, really pretty. And then the other one that I got is also from the same <laughs> Despicable Me, which is this one called Goggleicious, which I guess is because of their cute little goggles they wear all the time. We'll do it on, well, I don't know. Maybe we should, maybe we should wait and put that over top of something since it's a topper. Let's wait, we'll put it on top of something. It'll make it more fun. So, um, so we'll come back to it. So then I have a couple other Sally Hanses that I got just at our local grocery store, Fred Meyer, which is Kroger. Um, they often have sales. And so I can't remember if I got these on sale or not. So the first one, um, they're all from, they're both from this hollow glow line. Super pretty. Look at this one. It's called on the glow. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's super pretty. It's just like a brown hollow nail polish. And I can't remember, did I share this one with you guys yet? I can't remember, I don't think I did, but if I did, I apologize. Like I said, my brain is absolutely fried right now. So it'll be nice to sit next to the, the other one that I got, because I know I just got this one because I just got it a couple days ago. And that is the green one, which is called Limelight. And that's, that's they're both really, really pretty. I mean, they're just, fun hollows. I mean, I'm still a hollow girl. I still love hollow. I mean, flakies are probably my fave, but I'll always have hollow in my heart for sure as a love of mine. Very pretty, right? Let's see how it does on the second coat. Okay. Um, 
And don't let me forget to do the topper one too, but we will come back to it. So then I was at the thrift store and um, I did find this one. Um, and I don't, it's just a white. It's from Gabriel, it's called Iceberg. I don't need a white in my collection, um, but this is my son's, my youngest son's name. And so I had to get it. I immediately bought it, took a picture, sent it to my son, you know, I had to get it. So I don't know anything about this brand. I have never used it, never bought it, never had a polish on it. So if you are familiar with it, let me know. It's kind of weird. It's almost like a off-white. I, I wouldn't say that that's a stark white. Um, it's nice. It does have a fluffy brush, which I don't like, and you have to use the cap, so I'm not sure I'm in love with that, but the formula is nice, and look at that in one coat. I mean, how often do you get a white that covers that well in one coat? So I'm pretty impressed with that. That's pretty cool. Okay, and then the ones I was most excited about were the Harry Styles, so I got three Harry Styles, and if you don't know what Harry Styles is, those are the ones that have these cute marble tops. They're so adorable. Um, this one is called Please, no, nope, Tender Bud. It's all from the, it's from the Pleasing Collection. And then this one is called Tender Bud. And it just has a really cute, I like the marble on it, so. And this one's just kind of a blushy taupe, I guess. Do I need that color? No, but the bottle is so stinking cute that I had to get it, so. Nice brush. Has anybody bought any Harry Styles? Ooh, look how nice that formula is. <gasps> Oh, I'm shocked. It's a tiny bit thin, but boy, that went on really well. Very nice. I'm kind of impressed with that. All right, and then I got this color, which is sprouting. Pretty, and then this marble top matches it, so very cute. I think it was a spring collection, so it'll be, let's see if this one's just as nice. I'll be impressed if it is. Yeah, it's a little, they're like a little thin, but man, that format is nice, the brush is nice. Little awkward to paint with the marble on top, but not horrible. All right, and then it's funny because the third Harry Styles that I got um, is this one, which is called, this is the topper, it's called the whole, Duneverse, like do the whole Duneverse. And it's a really cute flaky topper. Kind of reminds me of Essie's, um, was it Shine of the Times? Yeah, I, Shine of the Times. So that's what it kind of reminds me of. So since it's a topper, we'll find a polish to put it on top, just like uh, like the other Sally Hansen. So let's do two coats and then we'll, we'll put the topper on the other two when we come back, okay? All right, so we are back. Um, I did not top coat because I don't have my my like backup top coat with me. I only have my Dazzle Dry top coat and I don't want to waste it because it's so expensive. Um, but we are going to put some toppers on a couple of these so you'll get to see it glossy. Um, so that first one is the Sally Hansen Blue Overall. Oh, I don't know if I said that. Blue Overall. Blue Overall is what it is. Um, I did do three coats of all the Sally Hansons. I don't know if it's because of the nail wheel. Um, it was fine on two, I just think it gave it a little bit more depth on the third coat. So uh, that one's that blue overall. And then the brown hollow is on the glow and the green one is limelight. The white is from Gabriel. I did do two coats of that one. It's called Iceberg. Um, and then the last two are from Harry Styles, which ugh, the formula, I'm telling you, it was a dream to use those. Um, that first one is the Tender Bud, and the green one is called Sprouting. So let's talk about these toppers. <clears throat> the Sally Hansen one is goggle-licious, and I'm gonna put it on top of the blue for funsies. So let's see. Hey, come here, you. Stay on there. There we go. So like most Sally Hansen, Hansen toppers, it's a little sparse, um, but not as bad as they have been in the past, I will say that. But you are probably gonna have to do some glitter placement with it, but not horrible. Not horrible here as I sit here and keep messing with it, huh? So, super cute though. 
And I can always use a fun little glitter topper like that. They're fun for accent nails and it's just fun for instant kind of nail art. So pretty cute, I like that one. Okay, and then the other topper that was from Harry Styles, this one that was called the whole Dooniverse. I'm gonna put it on top of this uh, taupey color. And let's see how it does with it. I think it would probably be prettier over a dark color, but since I don't have that at the moment, we're just gonna put it on top of this one. Gives it a, just a gentle little sparkle on there. Yeah, that's pretty. If I get a chance to try it on top of like a darker polish swatch that I do, um, I will insert it here so that you can see what it looks like on top of something dark so you can really get a feel for those flakies. It's, um, I would say it's, it's, I don't know how you wanna say it, it's a gentle kind of flaky topper. It's not like it's like a fancy gloss that's super packed. It's a little more sparse and a little more delicate, I guess I could say. It's a delicate flaky topper, so those were really fun, so. All right, well, those were everything in this little haul. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to know if you have any of these Harry Styles or Gabriel polishes. I'd like to know what your experience is with them. Are there all their formulas so good on those Harry Styles? Let me know. Thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.